Am I the asshole for reminding someone that they are a fucking loser at my friend's dinner party? I am a 24-year-old male was invited to my friend's dinner party about 10 people total. There is one dude, 22-year-old male, uh, who I never liked. He is a leech and an overall asshole. He is the younger brother of one of the people in our friend group. The reason why I hate him is because of how often he asked for money for me and his older brother and the rest of the group. When I, when I first met, met this kid, he called me the day after at 3 a.m. asking me to come pick up, uh, pick him up from the bar because he was drunk. He asked me almost like I was obligated to do so. Another time I picked him up to grab food for a past dinner party we had. He bought chips and a bunch of other snacks, but stuffed them in his backpack and didn't, didn't, did, what is it? Didn't bring it to the get together. He didn't oh, wow. buy anything for the party. He constantly asked the entire group for money for his rap singing career, even though he works part time for his dad cleaning the toilet. The list goes on. Come, come the dinner party. He called me out during the dinner for being a bum over something we were talking about at dinner. I replied to him he doesn't want to start anything with me, which to that he started calling out all my flaws and making fun of my current job. It's corporate, but for a small company, not really sure why he made fun of, fun of that, to be honest. We were drinking beers and stuff, so maybe he was drunk, which I said to him and told him, relax, but he kept pressing the matter over nothing. I sat up in my seat and reminded him that he is a fucking loser. I started by saying, do you know how much of a fucking loser you are? You leech off of your brother and the rest of us. You do absolutely nothing but beg for money for your stupid fucking music career that isn't going anywhere. And you work as a toilet cleaner for your daddy. Shut the fuck up. I was really pissed off, man. I can't lie. For him to try and embarrass me like that in front of everyone just set me off. It got really quiet, and I told him, don't ever try to embarrass me in front of a group of people like that, you fucking loser. He ended up just kind of looking down and sitting there. Dinner got back to normal after about 15 minutes, and then we all went home. Older bro says he knows his younger bro was out of line, but he said that his brother is aware of his current situation and was most likely just lashing out because of how his life is turning out. He asked me to just talk to him and apologize. I am absolutely willing to talk to him, but I am not apologizing for anything. We can have a civil one-on-one -on -one conversation to determine why he thought it was a good idea to try and embarrass me and continue to do so after I told him to stop. And if he wants to apologize to me, that's fine. Friend called me heartless, said that I am kicking someone while they are down. Friend group is pretty slit, split. Some say I was being too mean. Other half is saying it was really good. It was a really good reality check for him, and that he is he also was way out of line for absolutely no reason. Am I the asshole? <clears throat> Not at all. <clears throat> nope. Not at all. Don't throw rocks and then hide your hands. There you go. And that's what Youngin was doing, and he had to learn a lesson. He had to learn in front of everybody yeah. and get broke down to the brake pads. So <laughs> that's on him. There you go. Uh, oh man, how many times you been in this situation where a motherfucker who's already out of pocket and decides to take aim at at you and what you got going on because they shit fucked up. How many times that happened to you within family? Uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's happened quite a lot, man. <laughs> man. <laughs> but at a certain point, man, it gets... Wasn't to, me, though. <laughs> right, right, nah. right, 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 right. But right. It, like at a certain point, it gets to um, like, why are you saying and who are you proving what are you proving to, to who, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like, dude knows he's successful. You know, you know, dude knows that he's but, a bum. Like, <clears throat> we, we all have those days, old man, where it's yeah. just anybody but that motherfucker could talk shit. Anybody <laughs> but that motherfucker could talk shit right now. I'm saying, you fix your face to come out of pocket about me? You. Okay, now you, you got to get it. I got to give it to you, you know, and that's, I think, what happened. Miss Kiki, have you been in a situation where somebody who you know damn well ain't got no reason speaking to you that, that type of way come out their face and you had to correct them? Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I've, I've, I've done it the same way because uh, I used to not want to hurt nobody's feelings, right. but if you choose to hurt my feelings. Right. Guess what? I'm gonna give you who the fuck I am when you thought I was just a pussy. And then you're gonna be mad. So um no, I do not think 
you, you are supposed to put people in their place at the end of the day, because if you coming at me a certain way, it's only because of jealousy, right? Mm -hmm. That's all that is jealousy. And first of all, I'm gonna make you feel dumb because I'm like, why did you ask me that? Was that meant to hurt me? And then I'm going to proceed to make you feel like the scum of the earth that you are. Like, that's just what it is because you're mad because you can't get what I can get or, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not trying to say that I'm above anybody because of the way I live my life. And I'm sure that the other person did too. You don't live your life. You, first of all, anything that anybody get, they work hard for it, right? For the most part, yeah. Unless, some, unless somebody had a silver spoon in their mouth. But mm -hmm. if they humble, how dare you come at them like that? You know what I'm saying? So, no. So, I, I uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'm like this all the time because I don't like hypocrites. Um, I, <laughs> I do this shit to my mother. I mean, I don't call her a loser, but uh, you know, sometimes she get out of pocket with stuff. Like I know. And because I'm a man. Listen, I love they, you. They laugh they because. <laughs> For real, nigga. <laughs> right on. They laugh because they know my mom. <laughs> um, I do this to cats at work. Like uh, this one, dude, this one dude was like, "Oh man, such and such was thirty minutes late to work." I said, "Bro, you no called no show the other night. You can't, you can't talk about yeah. it." Yeah, like, yeah. So I just, I, I really, I really hate hypocrites, man. I'm not a perfect person, but right. you know, I'm, I'm not somebody that preaches one thing and, and does another. Case in point, man. You know, uh, the you know my my the Cuddy and my big bro they they know how bad of a drinker I was. I don't go preaching to people about drinking. I simply say, hey man, stay safe and you know be careful, man. Don't get too wild. But I don't preach to people not to do that. Um, but I, I get it, man. He he. I I think it was. I think it just it came to a head. He was. Yeah. He already didn't like dude because he saw what he was doing. He saw yeah. him getting over, and he was getting over with him. And yeah. so finally, you know, you it's like motherfucker, you got the nerve. <laughs> you know, you owe and, me and, money. You talking shit? Go ahead. Come on, baby. I've been there. Yeah. I've, I've been yeah. there with cats like, hey, ho. You know, right. so you know, I, I see. I also see what what old man is saying, like. You kind of try to avoid avoid that, you know, but when you in front of a group of people and you know nah. that that person is taking advantage of that group nah. too, especially, yeah, no, nah, I can't hold it. Man. You can say turn out the cheeks. How many cheeks you got, man? They, right. they, must, they, sauce, they playing you like a motherfucker. That's like, what I'm they saying, gotta, man. You know what I mean? And, like they they pull they pulling your whole card. And then I, I think I think for the brother, you know, my last little thought is I think for the brother to say, hey, man, can you apologize? I ain't apologizing to him. I take what's care the, of him. What's the saying? Consequences without repercussions or just yeah. suggestions. That's yeah, that's what I'm saying. Hey, the, the one thing is though, like when you do do that to somebody, you teach them a motherfucking lesson. Yeah, you feel me? Because yeah. it's somewhere in their subconscious, they think that it's okay to fucking do people like that when you ain't where you need to fucking be. So, I think that it was. Um, I think it was uh, you listen, man. You I'm 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 a firm believer in this tree. You gotta draw on a line. You gotta draw a line in the sand with some people. And everything yeah. ain't, ain't out of Boundaries. you know yeah, it's not out of a hatred thing. You know, there was a time when Big Bro had to draw a line in the sand with me, man. And and you know it, it you know, it teaches you something about yourself, man. I yeah. value the friendship. So you yeah. know, it was like, hey man, you know, I was this was my problem. Okay, that problem is over, but you know, I made mistakes in the past, man. I embarrassed that man. You know, he, hey, man, I, you know, I, I, it took a while for people to understand I don't drink no more. So, you know, when you, when you make mistakes, man, you gotta, uh, because <laughs> the cutties be like, hey, man, you know, if people still think you drink, you know, <laughs> you know, some people gotta take a break from you, man, or let you know who you are, man, for you to get better. Cause if not, you're gonna, you're gonna continue down the same path. And that conversation, it might have been harsh, but it could have changed his life, man. He could have said, Hopefully. "Man, look, look at me, Hopefully. man. I'm, I'm taking advantage of the people I supposedly care about, mm -hmm. you know. And I got the nerve to talk nonsense when this cat is picking me up, 
You know when yeah. I got I got snacks in my bag and ain't contributing. <laughs> he ain't say nothing. You know what I'm saying? He didn't call me out for you know uh, bringing you know taking back the snacks. Man, he got yeah. seven cans of Pringles in his in his <laughs> you know his, his spray ground backpack. You know he so. was specific. He put them back in his backpack and just took them home. Like right. this motherfucker shady and didn't nobody call him out on that. Come and then on, you man. gonna talk about my my job? Yes, you sir. gonna talk about my job and you scrub toilets. There you go. Yeah, I Come guarantee on, you, he didn't take any of that time for self reflection. He just went and wrote another battle rap. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas Mom, be hating yeah. on me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, I was Damn. like, I wanted to do black, you know, so hey, I said man. he was a rapper. So he said he was <laughs> a rapper, all I got. man. He got back in the booth. Right, hey, man. <laughs> I thought the shit was fucking hilarious, man. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for another great episode. Yes, sir. We appreciate you, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm drinking Hidden Hill Estates. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm How is it, man? Kinda. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Uh, go to T Public and uh, yeah, send me the link for that, man. Got you. Oh, shit. Uh, Clint, send it to the group text. Because that motherfucker fly. Hey, you send it to the group text. Uh, hey, man, I think Sunday. I said five I curse you. words. That's a record. Yeah, it is. Congrats to you, sir. Uh, yeah, man, yeah, I'm trying see. to clean it up, man, for the show purposes, man. <laughs> for real, man. It, you know, I get it. That you know, when, when something hits you hard, there's no stopping the, the sauce train. You, you just yeah. Go, it has to come from the soul and Cussing comes from your soul. There so you go. Yeah, I'm yeah, glad. Thank you. I appreciate that. I know where it comes from because you try hard because you focus, you stop, and I see you pause and trying to watch what the fuck you're saying. Yeah, I'm trying and not then, to say the N-word or yeah, curse. But when you. something hits you, you like me, motherfucking nigga over there. You know, it's coming, <laughs> it's flowing. I was like, that's just who he is. <laughs> you know, but I'm I'm glad Miss Kiki pointed out how Ed be sneaking his stuff in. <laughs> That can't say you she... want us to, hey, you want us to shut the fuck up quick. <laughs> right. But that motherfucker know what's some real shit. Let, like, well, let's, hey. let's move on. But dang, when, <laughs> when she's I was with him, he sweated on me and smelled like curry. I said, Oh <laughs> that curry be stinking, man. Oh it tastes if good. You no, know, you know, you know. I hang remember back for, a, hang back for a second, sauce, when it's over. All right, I remember I remember installing cable in, in this lady's <laughs> house. And she she I thought this was the most racist crap on the planet. What's up? She she kept saying, and she said, The people who live here before me, they were Indian. Oh my god, I can't get this smell out of my house. It's a brand new apartment. They won't give me another apartment because I already signed a lease. And I can't I don't know what that is. That's the curry smell. I can't. I mean, it was strong too. Like they put it under the carpet, but yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> but that's all I got, baby. I, I love me some curry, but yeah, that's shit good. I don't fuck with nobody. Got that right? Red, green, whatever. Brown. Yep. I love Yellow. it. Yellow. Yes, exactly. Yay. Love that shit, family. Thank you again. See you next time. Thank you for having me. Oh shit! Yeah, keep it up. Yeah. I think yeah. I probably gotta keep mine up.